The days of driving for three hours and then stopping for two hours just to recharge are officially over. Real-world data collected from Tesla semi-drivers over the past two years shows something remarkable. When a fully loaded Tesla semi drives for about seven hours straight, it only needs around 45 minutes to recharge on average. When Elon Musk said that 2026 would be a breakout year for Tesla, most people assumed he was talking about Optimus or the Robotaxi. Very few expected that he was actually pointing to the Tesla Semi, a vehicle many engineers consider the hardest product Tesla has ever tried to build. That mystery didn't last long. On the very first day of 2026, Elon Musk revealed the newest design of the Tesla Semi. This updated version is officially called Tesla Semi Gen 2, and it is scheduled to go on sale later this year. At the same time, Tesla also upgraded its charging infrastructure to support up to 1.2 megawatts, giving truck drivers real confidence to switch from diesel to electric. While Tesla hasn't released a full official comparison yet, trucks already on the road show clear improvements. Observers have noticed at least 17 design changes, including a completely unexpected redesign of the side windows. This is something almost nobody thought Tesla could pull off, especially with the Semi's compact shape. So what exactly has changed in the Tesla Semi Gen 2? And is this design what we'll see in full production later this year? Welcome to Device Dimension. At first glance, the Tesla Semi still looks familiar. The clean white body, futuristic shape, and center driving position instantly show this is no ordinary truck. But when you compare the original 2017 prototype side by side with the Gen 2 design, the difference becomes obvious. This is not just a visual refresh. It's a complete rethink focused on efficiency, manufacturing, maintenance, and autonomy. The biggest change is right at the front. The original semi had a dramatic concept style nose with a huge windshield and complex bumper shapes. It looked impressive but it wasn't practical for large-scale production. The Gen 2 Semi replaces that with a cleaner and flatter front end. The bumper is simpler and split into modular sections. This makes repairs faster and cheaper, which is extremely important for fleet operators. Lower repair costs also mean lower insurance and less downtime. The light bar has also been redesigned. Instead of flashy styling, the new lights are more integrated and functional. Visibility is improved, while unnecessary design complexity is removed. This shows the difference between a prototype made to turn heads and a truck built to work every day. Another major improvement is the windshield and roof. The original semi used a massive amount of glass, which looked futuristic, but added weight, cost, and heat buildup. In Gen 2, the windshield is shorter, the roof line is smoother, and excess glass has been removed. This change improves aerodynamics, lowering the drag coefficient from around 0.36 to about 0.33. That may sound small, but in long-haul trucking it makes a big difference. Even small aerodynamic gains can improve efficiency by 5-8%, to saving fleets thousands of dollars per truck every year. The original Tesla Semi was mostly hand-built. That approach works for small numbers, but not for mass production. The Gen 2 design clearly shows Tesla is preparing for scale. Body panels are flatter, shapes are simpler, and everything is optimized for automated assembly lines. This redesign supports Tesla's goal of producing around 50,000 semi-trucks per year which is close to 200 trucks every day. The semi is no longer an experiment. It's now designed for real industrial production. Weight reduction is another key improvement. Reports suggest the Gen 2 semi weighs under 23,000 pounds, which is significantly lighter than earlier versions. Every pound saved on the truck means more cargo can be carried. That directly increases profit for fleet operators. 
Tesla also redesigned the chassis to distribute loads better and reduce long-term stress. This is critical for trucks expected to drive millions of miles over their lifetime. Aerodynamics have also been refined. Instead of extreme shapes, Tesla focused on smoother airflow and stable performance in real-world conditions like crosswinds and mountain driving. These changes are based on lessons learned from millions of miles driven by early semi-fleets. One subtle but very important upgrade is camera placement. New cameras above the front wheel arches improve visibility, wheel tracking, and redundancy. This isn't about style. It's about preparing the semi for full self-driving. The first-generation semi wasn't truly built for autonomy. Gen 2 clearly is. Every design choice points toward autonomous operation. In short, the original semi was a promise. The Gen 2 semi is a tool built for large-scale deployment. In an industry where efficiency and uptime decide survival, that difference matters. The updated semi also introduces Model Y style headlights, improved payload capacity, energy use of around 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile, and roughly 15% better efficiency than before. It supports 500 miles of range, 1.2 megawatt fast charging, and uses a high voltage system with 4,680 battery cells. The headlights are the most visible update. They look very similar to the Model Y, just larger. Compared to the old headlights, the design is cleaner and more modern. Efficiency improvements come from multiple areas, better aerodynamics, lighter weight, improved motors, and smarter software. One major upgrade is battery technology. Earlier semis used LFP batteries, which are safe and affordable, but heavy. To reach 500 miles, Tesla needed a very large battery pack, which reduced payload. Now Tesla is switching to 4,680 cells, which have nearly double the energy density. This allows Tesla to keep the same range while using fewer cells, reducing weight and increasing payload. At 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile, the semi reaches efficiency levels once thought impossible for heavy-duty trucks. This saves fleets tens of thousands of dollars per year in energy costs. Instead of increasing range beyond 500 miles, Tesla chose to keep range the same and reduce battery size. This lowers cost and improves payload capacity. The most impressive upgrade is charging. Tesla has demonstrated 1.2 megawatt charging, something no other electric truck has achieved. The charging port has been redesigned to match the finalized megawatt charging standard, making it smaller, stronger, and more reliable. At this power level, charging fits neatly into mandatory driver brakes. Charging stops are no longer wasted time. They become part of the normal schedule. By adopting a standardized connector, Tesla also avoids locking fleets into a single charging network. This flexibility is critical for large logistics companies. Thermal management has also been improved. Megawatt charging creates extreme heat, and Tesla's new design better manages that heat, improving reliability and battery life. All signs now point to Tesla Semi moving out of testing and into full production readiness. The Gen 2 Semi is no longer experimental. It's built for real-world freight at scale. If electric trucks can now match diesel duty cycles with just 45-minute charging stops, should governments push fleets to switch faster, or should the market decide naturally? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching Device Dimension. Subscribe so you don't miss our next Tesla update coming very soon. Like, share, and turn on notifications to stay ahead of the latest in EV and AI technology. See you in the next video.